Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial, this time on sizing a PV system. The aim of this tutorial is to illustrate a step-by-step -step approach when designing a PV system that covers parts or even all of the building's electricity needs over the course of a year. For this, we use the radiation map in Climate Studio that estimates the actual monthly electricity yield of the system for a given climate. After you finished setting up the surrounding in 3D and your building, it's now time to build the solar modules. And in this case, we are using a regular unit. So it's either one times 1.5 meters or 40 by 60 inches as one of the units. The next step is to array the modules, depending on the size of the roof or where you're planning to place these PV panels. After that, you select the location where you would like to place the solar panels and you basically begin arraying them on the entire roof. As it is in the case of this building, we have 10 PV panels in one row and we multiply it by 20 rows in total, which leads to 200 PV panels overall. So the next step is to switch to the radiation map in Climate Studio, which can be found at the bottom of the tab. It's also important to select the correct climate file, which can be found in the folder. And the last step is to add all of the PV panels to the analysis surface list. This window then pops up and it basically asks you to define the sensor spacing and the UV mapping. And by clicking OK, sometimes it occurs that the surfaces are black. You basically just need to change the direction of the surface orientation by pressing D, I, R, and by flipping all of them, the arrows point towards the right direction. And by clicking OK, you now can see all of the sensor points on the PV panels. And the last step is to run the simulation. This might take a couple of minutes, depending on the sensor spacing you defined in the last step. After having completed the simulation, you now need to define the projected target energy use. This target can be generated through the Energy Star Portfolio Manager that gives specific estimates depending on the property type. And by multiplying this with the project size, you will get your target energy use. The second number that you need to compare is the total electricity gain through the newly installed PV panels. You multiply the amount of panels times the size of one unit, and this number that is generated, you also need to multiply by the annual solar radiation. And it is important to keep in mind a panel efficiency of about 18% and an inverter efficiency of 96% if you want a more accurate result. And in the end, you divide these two numbers that reveal how much the PV panels actually cover and in this case, it's about 116.8%, which is more than the building actually requires. And the excess 17% of electricity can alternatively be fed back into the grid.